Man, unreal. Just like being from here, coming to this gym, being that kid watching up from the windows up there. It, it's just an amazing feeling to uh, practice here in my hometown. So Nerves, excitement, what was the feeling out there? Yeah, a little bit of both. You know, 22 years of basketball comes down to this, so you're hoping for the best. But uh, just confident in my shot and confident that I can make shots to anybody. How many other workouts have you had? Uh, three others, so this would be my fourth. What other teams? Um, I went uh, Spurs, Boston, Memphis here. And then do you have more planned after this? Yeah, I'm supposed to go Bulls on Monday. Okay. Mm. You get a, get a, get the sense that shooting has become a much more prized commodity, and and that that your consistency is where it needs to be in that regard. Yeah, thankfully, you know that's one thing that I'm really you know focusing on is that I can shoot at a high level um, with guys like Steph Curry, um, Clay Thompson. Those guys, I feel like, are changing the game. So hopefully for the better in, in uh, my strengths. So. Been some of the feedback that you got from the last three, four teams now. Yeah, I think, you know, just coming out here competing as hard as you can. Um, you know, like Coach was saying, Coach McMillan was saying, you know, you got to have a motor. That's what teams are looking for. So um, just the, the controllables, and I think, you know, things like your shot can take care of yourself. Do you feel like you're almost reproving yourself, given what you did at Butler? You're not here, now you're having to show these amazing books. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, at a different pace and a you know different level, guys guys hold you that are a little stronger, a little faster, a little longer. Uh, just being able to hit shots um, in traffic is going to be important. Is there something you feel like you need to work on more than other things? Obviously, the shooting's there. Yeah, you know, probably continue my strength, uh, condition, my conditioning. Um, you know, being able to keep guys in front with uh, my lateral quickness, and then just being able to get in and out of screens and be shot ready all the time and making shots for three is going to be very valuable. How much work have you done physically to athletic, you know, the whole pre-combine, pre-preparation process? Have you tried to remake some things physically? Yeah, um, for sure. There's a lot of technique things that you can um, build on, you know, sprinting and the lane agilities and vertical and things like that that I tried to improve on. But, um, you know, a lot of it is, I think, God-given. Uh, you just trust that you have enough for it to get you to the next level and then there's little things that you can improve on as well. And this is obviously plan A. You're focusing all your attention and energy into plan A right now. Do you have a plan B just in case? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's something that I'm going to run by my agent when this process is over and uh, hope for the best. But you want to play somewhere somehow or do you want to get on with life if it doesn't, if you don't get No, drafted? 100% basketball uh, right now. I play as long as I can. So. How does your time at Butler help prepare you for this process? Yeah, I, th I think it's been, you know, incredible defensively. You know, some of the technique things that we strived on to uh, improve in, Bru in Butler's uh, four years um, is really dragged over uh, to the NBA. There's going to be a little tweaks, you know, with the uh, three-point line being a little longer than the college three and just running guys off and making sure they can't make shots. It's going to be a little bit, bit different, but other than that, it's been great. What was the experience like working out for Brad in Boston? Unbelievable. You know, um, some of the drills that I thought that reflected, um, you know, Butler's, what, what we tried to do my, my freshman year. Um, just spending time with him and his family. Uh, when I got there the first night, was, it was incredible in itself, just seeing the little ones, how they're growing up, and uh, how, how far Coach Stevens is going to go, let alone where he is right now. So it's, it's a blessing to play for him for a year. We talked with Roosevelt Jones last week. Have you guys been able to communicate at all kind of through this process? Yeah, uh, we, we played together in Boston. Um, so he, he, he's doing well. Um, he's trying to make some um, adds to his game. Uh, I, th I think that his body right now is just great for the NBA and hopefully um, he, can, he can show that he's quick enough to play at this level. Uh, so I wish him the best and I know that he's working.